More than a helicopter, the AH-1Z Viper is an air dogfighter. In addition to striking ground and sea targets, they are capable of battling other helicopters and, in a pinch, even fixed-wing fighters. Here's what you need to remember, and at least one country has actually deployed the AH-1 in an air-to-air -air role during a major war. The Iran-Iraq War of 1980-1988 saw a lot of air combat by helicopter, wrote Marine Major R.M. Brady in 1992. The U.S. Marine Corps AH-1Z Viper attack helicopter has little known capabilities. In addition to striking ground and sea targets, they are capable of battling other helicopters and, in a pinch, even fixed-wing fighters. Tom Demerley, a writer for The Aviationist, was reminded of this fact during an air show at Marine Corps Air Station Pendleton in California in September 2019. The AH-1Z Viper in static display had an armament package that attracted many comments and questions, a pair of inert AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, Demerley wrote. The AIM-9 is an infrared-guided dogfighting missile with a maximum range of up to 22 miles in its latest version. This is a possible configuration, one of the flight crew explained. We don't train with them in general, mostly for weight training, but it's an ability we have and we want to show it. Viper aviators may have overestimated the scarcity of air-to-air -air missiles on the AH-1. And at least one country has actually deployed the AH-1 in an air-to-air -air role during a major war. The Iran-Iraq War of 1980-1988 saw a lot of air combat by helicopter, wrote Marine Major R.M. Brady in 1992. During this war, Iranian AH-1JS attacked Iraqi Mi-8 HIP and Mi-24 Hind helicopters. Undisclosed sources report that Iranian AH-1 pilots achieved a kill ratio of 10 to 1 over Iraqi helicopter pilots during this battle. In addition, Iranian and Iraqi AH-1 fixed-wing aircraft were involved. Brady noted that until the late 1980s the Marine Corps trained AH-1 pilots in air-to-air -air tactics, but discontinued the practice after deciding that the training was burdensome on the helicopter fuselage. He argued that tactical training should continue. There should be a new emphasis within the Marine Corps and U.S. Navy on the importance of conducting realistic air combat maneuver training within the AH-1 community. ACM helicopter training was discontinued, although American AH-1s can still carry and fire sidewinders and can also use their guns and unguided rockets in an air-to-air -air role. But in the absence of specific training, it is not clear how effective the copters are as dogfighters. In order to be an effective, air-to-air -air warfare platform, the AH-1 must be flown by an aircrew who is knowledgeable and proficient in aerial combat maneuvers, Brady wrote. One Marine recently said the AH-1's air-to-air -air role could expand, thanks to the introduction of the F-35B stealth fighter. Captain Daniel Kelly, an AH-1Z pilot with Marine Light Attack Helicopter Squadron 169 in Okinawa told AIN that the F-35 helps the Marines neutralize radar threats, making the helicopter more defensive in the air escort role. The escort role involved the AH-1 flying with a transport helicopter and tilt rotor to protect them from enemy forces. That force could include fixed-wing fighters, or even enemy helicopters firing air-to-air -air missiles. <laughs>